Graham and Banks Hocutt came from James Island to spend their Tuesday afternoon playing disc golf at West Ashley Park, a place they say they feel safe at for the most part. I think it's pretty good. I think towards nighttime I probably wouldn't come out here just because there's not a lot of lighting and the activity around here. I'm just not sure how it is. The park's safeness, particularly when the sun goes down, was discussed at the City of Charleston's Recreation Committee meeting. West Ashley's a a unique park in that there's a lot of wooded space there around in a lot of marshy area, a lot of spaces around the lake and everything. And and I think it's starting to become a concern of the of the community around the around the park. City Councilman Kevin Sheely brought up the time an incident in the wooded area around the park prompted an evacuation last fall. He says at the time they discussed adding more lighting. Signage at the park also indicates the entrance gates are closed from dusk until dawn, but Sheely said he's not sure that's always the case. I guess my question is, can we move forward with better lighting at West Ashley Park now and can we move forward to um, to have that gate where it will, you know, where it'll be automatic, where at dusk that gate closes? City staff answered his questions, saying there is a proposal with Dominion Energy for lighting updates, which will be in the 2025 budget request. Staff also admitted there has been some inconsistency with when the gates are being manually locked, and agreed they should work towards implementing new lock technology. That park is is prone to having some nefarious activities that happen around it. It would be great to have additional lights. It would be great to have a, a, a lock that was locked without human error. Changes the Hocup brothers say they're on board with. More lighting and just, you know, maybe someone on duty even just to like, or someone nearby just to have, you know, a second like hands on deck. So yeah.